Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Ocelot, and welcome back to Animalia and our Let's Play of City Skylines. What are we doing today? Well, we've got a reasonable amount of money. It's time we've finished off our highway connection. Just notice we've actually got what we might be called arable land here. I was going to apply a highway to the middle of this. Um, if I go to resources, what have we got? There's a little bit of farmland there. Some of it don't actually have in our town. And some more ore across here. There's some bits of ore left over there. All the oil is over there. Any more oil? No. Lots of farming on this little island. Put more ore out right there. So it looks like we might actually be putting some kind of farms in over here. So I need to plan the new highway I was building accordingly to avoid that. Because that's what we're doing today. We're building our new highway. Or extending our existing one. Hopefully we'll have a nice cash for it. If not, I'll make some kind of fudge and uh, we'll come back when we've got a bit of cash after a small break in recording. So let's have you no, come up. Because we will be going across this road. Straight across if you please. Wow, you can go straight under at, uh, at risk of flooding, as far as I'm concerned. That's a nice flat road. Right? That's what I did quite nicely. So it was out from here, up by 1, across by 12. And then when we landed on the other side, apparently we're a little bit too close together. Okay. Let's uh, string that road out from the other side then. You were... Ground level. And you were 12 meters up when you got to about here. Grand. So the people who are living under there, well, that house in particular is going to be alarmingly noisy. Alarmingly noisy? Yes, alarmingly noisy. So noisy, in fact, that you will be alarmed by it. So yeah, probably not the best place to be living these days, directly under it, but it's got the sound baffles on, so you can't really complain too much. Just, you know, mm. go away. Fire in the distance over there. What are you doing for traffic? No, not too bad. So you're all complaining about power. At least I can fix that one quickly. And I do have... One over there. And I can probably put a power line along the middle there. So yeah, that should solve that one. Grand. Okay, so our highway has come out this far. And now it needs to be heading over this way. So let us put in the next stage of our bridges. Wow, that's a long one. So obviously we think we need to start some kind of elevation. So I'll switch you down to the lowest. Just have a little bit of elevation. Just so it doesn't do anything, it does where it sinks into the ground. And then we come out. There. Done. So the road that comes back the other way. I believe we put a just a small amount of elevation on. Yeah, and you've done the street. This this is slightly bizarre. Um, I really wish the game wouldn't do that. It's just frankly strange. We start at ground level, come along, come up. So I was going to be able to do, yeah, so if I go just a little bit too far, you will do the strange thing. You dip down rather than having a nice flat road. Done. Right, now we need to connect these ones up. I think I need to reverse the direction of this bridge as well. So. Uh, eh. Done. Not too bad. That's uh, just awful because it's too close. And then we shall reverse. 
Done. Grand. Okay, so there's a slight bit of a bulge and a bump up as we go over the, this hillock. Interesting, I don't necessarily know what we're going to do with this bit of land. I am kind of tempted just to leave it and make use of it for services and the like. Because we do are going to have a demand for a new service area over here. We're just using this bit of land for things like um, noisy things, uh, like industrial centers, possibly some more these guys maybe, bus depots, taxi ranks, that kind of stuff out here, and then not having to necessarily worry about getting an MTR st a metro station out here. Wouldn't necessarily bother me too much if I just left that bit of land empty. Just put a simple roundabout on top of there and connected it up. But in the interim, we are heading over here. So, let us hang a turn. Well, I just did a sensible thing to put the straight road in first. So, on the ground if you please. We're about here. I want you to go all the way to about here. And then back the other way. Not quite. Nope. Happy with most of this positioning. We just need to tinker a little bit. You're not watching me tilt my head at a really odd angle. Because you can't see that, because you can't see me. To try and get that to work. There we go. Done. Just taking that gentle right, it's quite the interesting fashion, so we've got, um, hmm, yeah, no, I'm going to do something slightly more expensive here. It's to my eternal annoyance, perhaps, with this game, that you can't just set a level. It's like, I want this road to be flat, and then it just goes flat, up and over, and bridges all the rest of the terrain. So, so I, that's, this is 12 meters below here. So if I start the tunnel here, it'll dive down under, whereas I want it to go straight through here. So I'm going to have to start my tunnel up here. Like so. So that is vaguely at the same height. Still, possibly I could go lower. So, uh, turn that off, duck down, so you're not quite high enough. So this is something new we've not done here before. Come up to about here-ish, but then duck down. So we can see here, that's diving, that's flat. That would emerge, so we bring our perspective down as far as we can go. So we have a slight slope because it's still quite, I think this side is definitely lower than this side. But it does look like at least that tunnel goes through. And in fact, we're a reasonable location. All right, let's uh, let's try looking at that from the other side. We start from over here. Come out. What point do we get? That, dipping ever so slightly, looks more rational when you're faced with a cliff face like this with a highway. See how it's ducking as we're going. 
reconnection re re here, it decides that what it wants to do is put a tunnel in from there to there and then go back onto the surface. It's clearly, I don't know, not the most rational. I mean, if I just go from here to here, it still doesn't do what I want to do. Let's go from there to there. Yeah, it's like ducks down a little bit, but that makes sense because that's a lower height than that one. So we will do exactly the same, going the other way. Get to about here. Come all the way through. And then connect up. And then play the reversing game. Nice. That looks much better. Much, much better. That's quite cool, actually. First time I've played was digging a tunnel through something like this. If you have absurdly steep cliffs, like possibly some of these ones, and you try and put a road through it, I suspect it might do something slightly more rational. We can have a look. Just quickly while we're playing. That's the upgrade button. Start on the surface. If I just do that. It does try and tunnel. As best it can in some way, shape, or form. Yes, yeah, so it uses the tunnel to essentially minimize the slope. By that. <laughs> Which is, yeah, not too bad, but, uh, Since I don't have an example where it stretches and we go directly across the slope. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So now we need a junction over here before we've got our new highway connection. I think we'll probably finish off the level by putting in a service center in over here. Got to be careful, of course, we don't pollute the water, but uh, we are slightly downstream, but yes. Done. Right. Connection. Now this is going to be a connection very similar to this one, though I don't think I will bother with the roundabout so much. I think I'll just do direct plumbing. Um, I'm not entirely convinced the roundabout here has been that successful. I mean, it's not jammed up, but we just don't actually have the traffic that would block it up. So, we will be taking our highway ramp and you are the road that comes in you are the road that goes out so we want switch type to the curvy tool view sidle off come round nice so you are the road comes this way Let's have you just get it back here. I mean, can I just have you literally just go straight? Pretty much. Slight king of the end. Nice. Well, in that case, I might as well just. upgrade you to that. <laughs> There's not much point in trying to do anything more clever. I think I will probably switch you up into a slightly larger one. So next thing we need is the roads that go the other way. So if you're going this way and you want to go over here, you need to So not come away far enough or at a steep enough angle. Always a pain trying to get across these. A little bit further. Done. So that's too many lanes going into too many lanes. So I will completely push the wrong button. There we go. So that does mean you are now a three lane. Three lanes going into three lanes. With that. What was the junction I was toying with it previously? 
Happy with you as a brave. Happy with you. I was toying with the junction. Hmm, must not be here. Oh, yeah, it's the class order symbol on top of the building. Nice. What other offices do actually look like that? Very impressive if they did. So we've got our road that comes this way, this way, and if we want to go from here to over here, we will. Take advantage of our ability to build tunnels and do that. And correspondingly, switch you down a sign so we don't have people getting in the same lane and cluttering each other up. So, shiny. Let's uh, let time happen. Let the rain fall. Already got someone deciding they wanted to go this way. Where, my good friend? You are exporting forestry products. Are you just hideously confused? You are... Hideously confused. <laughs> you're, going to, you're going to be the first person to take that road because suddenly, directly in front of you, while you were attempting to get anywhere, you, um... The road you happen to be on happened to happen <laughs> suddenly became a different direction. Much to your consternation. Alright, well, happy journeys. Enjoy the uh, new roadway. And surprisingly, the houses underneath here have gone away. But we're going to build ourselves a service station. Nice. So, what we want, first and foremost, is an about around. I wonder if we're going to be able to fit this in over here. I highly doubt it. It's just going to complain about bridgeways. And the space is already highly occupied if I try and dig it into the ground. Alright, looks like we are going to be doing this one manually. So what do we want? Well, we want some kind of service area. So we will start that off by building a road that comes along the top of here. Let's just double check. Do we have any resources under this? Pollution. That's a, a very small amount of forestry. Ooh. This is filling out to the point where I think we might be able to start looking at trimming some power lines. Now. That would be a distraction. we do need is a selection of small roads oh, that we're never really working over here let's just take that one across one no come on thank you That's not what I want. That's what I want. How much these cost on maintenance? Forty dollars to sell, making thirty-five. That's fine. All right, so that's that done. Now we need to connect this little lot up. So it will probably go for quite a blunt junction here, actually. Just grab you. Don't need anything special. We can go for something really, really, that would normally be just a complete bad idea. Yes. Yes. So there's an offensively sharp turn. I don't think there's anything I can really do about it. 
which as you know, metal is not going to be too busy there, it's just a garbage truck that's going out from here. I do already have water, but let's throw it up and down the line. Now what we can do, since this is this end of it is not going to be too hideous, is we can grab ourselves this. Nope, that's what we want. There we go. We'll grab ourselves the peasant road. Density one of those in, we'll just grab that there and there. Anything else we want to put out here? Well, we do need a new high school. You guys get the freshest water. Space already occupied. And vexatious. Done. This is a nice little district on the end over here. Uh, I will give you an elementary school, otherwise, you will complain. And I will give you a small park. Some kind of hideously malformed plaza, and I will probably put yeah. Let's let's pair it up with its compatriot, the Japanese pleasure garden, equally deformed and shaped by the terrain. Rain coming down our new little district over here. So, hmm, yes, I know what we will call this district. We'll get our big painting brush out. And this will become eels head point because I've decided there's eels in the river. Nice little sub district, and we want this is the whole point. This area is a services area. Four of these guys to start with. Why? Because we want to generate some power over here. That's what we will be doing. Any other kind of services we want to put out here? I am kind of tempted to stick a graveyard out here. Maybe a crematorium. Can I stick a little crematorium on the corner? Ooh. Yes, I can. A lovely view. That's you. That is really actually quite a nice view. So, we'll leave that there. There's this little bit of territory. Uh, you spit out some houses, which apparently need to go all the way around there if they get anywhere, because of the side of the road I put you on. That's um, not necessarily that helpful. Let's move you. Let's go over there. So if you want to turn around, you can turn around over here. So here's our horde of cars and trucks making their way off. Hey, you've got a chance to turn around. <laughs> our little trucky there. Yes, yeah, so this will just fill out with um, more and more of these guys as and when we need time to go on. But yes, this little space over here will probably take quite a while to fill up with people and the rest of it, so don't expect there to be... Yeah, there's a load of students attending the school, apparently. 
because they can. Where's our education? Our button over here. High school availability is on the edge, so even though there's no one actually living nearby, a lot of people are commuting all the way out here. Commuting? Oh yes. I wasn't going to do much in the way of actually having you guys have any real connections. Literally, just, I'm going to abandon you. Um, but I probably should have some kind of busway connection. Where's the nearest metro station? Down there, we can't get to that easily. No, let's plug you into the centre of the network. There. And we'll have you... No, let's have you... That's quite a route around you've got. So if you go past that metro station, then to the city centre, Past that metro station again, and then connect up. And we will have a stop there, we will have a stop here, and we will have a stop there. And you are. Which line are you? By name. Bus line number 50. Heels head connect. Nice. It's a bit of a strange route, but it does what I wanted to do, which is it connects up one of my areas to the transport network. Yeah, I don't mind. There are always going to be some districts in the town that are just that farther away, and I don't think there are enough people living here that's going to warrant me spending a lot of money and time and effort. On that. Now, we should go quickly check how the water flow is going. Yes, as I suspected, this river is now pouring rather than into the sea. It is now pouring and pouring into my pumping network. So be it. If it gets absolutely desperate, I will start dumping sewage off this side, knowing for a while that it shouldn't backflow too badly. So that's spent a lot of our money. Well, there is some future we'll be worrying about other things. The planes flying away. I've been the marmoset. This has been the city skylines with the um, after Dark Expansion Pack. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, criticism, wild outlandish statements, or deep-seated needs to tell me about how your day's been, please leave them in the comments section. Bye for now.